Ready? Blackman Parish Council uh, a budget hearing, special meeting, special meeting to accept the budget for 2021 is now called to order. We have roll call, machines are open. Let the record reflect that we have seven council members present, Mr. Albrow and Mr. Gouy are absent. We'll move to item number two. Mr. Chairman, we do have an email to read that pertains to the three items on the agenda. Uh, number two, introduction of ordinances and resolutions. I have one. I have one as well. And in, in ordinance to amend and as, and as amended, readopt Chapter 15, Section 15-11 of the Code of Ordinances, usage fees for parish ferry, ferries crossing the Mississippi River and otherwise to provide with respect thereto. An ordinance. Who's up? Mr. Black. An ordinance to rescind, annul, and set aside ordinance number 1571, adopted on May 28, 2015, which transferred, reorganized, and consolidated the ambulance department and the Platman's Parish Fire Department and otherwise revived with respect to That's all. Mr. Roussel. Yes, I have an ordinance to amend and as amended, readopt ordinance number 08 211, the floodplain management regulations and otherwise to provide with respect thereto. Thank you. We'll move to item three. Would you like me to read the email first? We have an email. Yes, sir. This email is from Barry Becknell, 11451 Highway 23, Bell Chase. And this is pertaining to items 3B, C, and D. I would like to recommend the proposed budget for 2021. Several years ago, the council voted to consolidate the ambulance department with the fire department. The only thing that happened was moving the ambulance department from one budget unit to another. The consolidation is a failure because it never happened. For this to have worked, you would have had to move the ambulance employees into the fire department schedule and, and civil service. As a council and as an administration, you have failed because you did not combine the two departments. This could have worked like it does in other places in our state, like St. Tammany Parish and the city of Gonzales, that have excellent consolidated fire slash EMS services. Unfortunately, you have a fire department that does not want to operate an ambulance service and EMTs and paramedics who do not want to be firefighters. The best system for our parish would be to consolidate, would be a consolidated fire and EMS department with all employees cross-trained in fire and EMS. The consolidation would have worked, however, there is no will to implement this by the administration and council and no desire from the employees to create a system which would provide the best service for the people of our parish. Asking the people to support a tax increase to support an ambulance department that was run like it was before the consolidation attempt is not an answer. I will not support returning to the old days where you had employees working from home and were not supervised or held accountable for their actions. There has to be another way. Barry Becknell, 11451 Highway 23, Bell Chase. That is it, Mr. Chairman. Thank you. Three. A, there are no ordinances um, for this meeting. 3B, an ordinance establishing a policy, policy of budgetary control for the operating budget of expenditures for the Plaquemines Parish Council for the fiscal year beginning January 1, 2021, and ending December 31, 2021, and otherwise provide with respect thereto. I so offer. offer. Second. Seconded by Mr. Konovich. Is there any comments from the table? Uh, I have only one page here. It start. It ends at 25. Are there other second page? It's this one. Yeah. It should be, and this should be with changes. Okay. It should say with changes that offer with changes at the top. Okay. And the, and the change you see at the uh, on line 37 is uh, we're changing from four to five. We just talked to you about that. The utilities. 
We add the utilities, and that's what this is doing. Okay. So it's only section four, nothing else at the bottom, one pager. One, one page. page. That's it. One page. And the only changes is on line 37. Line 37 and 40. No immediate certification. 37 and 40? Yes, sir. Okay, could you please read it? I yeah, have it. I mean, I, I can read it. Oh. On line 37, it's changing from four to five. It's, uh, it's already on. It should be on the copy that you got. I understand. Okay, and then uh, on line 40. Could line, you please read the, the whole sentence? For, oh, sure. Yes. All right. Uh, the financial accounting uh, software package defines five possible classification categories as follows. Uh, line 38 support personal services 39 is financial and related services 40 is the one we're adding which is operating services utilities 41 is operating services supplies and 42 is capital outlay I so offer with changes second. seconded by mr. blank any discussion from the table any discussion from the audience miss Newberry it was just operating services please talk into the mic it was just operating service and supplies. There was no utilities, is what you were saying? Yes. Okay. It was in operating service and supplies, so we're just separating it out is all we're doing. Machines are open. Got it. And the measures pass at 7-0. Next item, please. An ordinance C, an ordinance adopting the original capital improvements budget for the Plaquemines Parish government for the five-year period beginning January 1st, 2021 and ending December 31st, 2025 and otherwise to provide with respect thereto. I so offer. Second. Seconded by Mr. Blank. Any questions from the table? From the audience? Machines are open. And the measure passes 7 0. Next item, please. D. In ordinance adopting the original operating budget of revenues and expenditures for the Plugs Parish government for the fiscal year beginning January 1, 2021, and ending December 31, 2021, and otherwise to provide with respect thereto. And it's a substitute. Could you please read the substitute? It's the whole thing. It's, it's, it's like thing is, it's it's the whole thing is yeah. a substitute. Oh, okay. Well, we offer the substitute then. Offer. And we have, we offer. have a motion by Mr. Uh, Conovich. I'll second it. Any discussion from the table? Mr. Surpass? Um, basically, what this is, this is adopting what you did in this book, the changes we made in the book. We, um, we always include all the changes to the manpower. So if you see the uh, transfer positions and the uh, layoff positions, they're all on here. We I mean, we keep track of it as we went along. The stuff that was added back in, uh, we took off. Um, so this is the layoffs and the, all the changes to the manpower table um, that we discussed. It also includes a um, transfer from buying and dentist of uh, 2 million 449. What that is, that's something that was in the book already. Um, we still have the 8 million four, like I told you we did. But the transfers of uh, 2,449,000. The transfer from BP was 6,000,009. We already had a transfer in the book of 3,000,005. So you added to that the 3 million, uh, 3 million dollar transfer that I had mentioned to you earlier. So the total transfer for BP was 6,000,009. Um, any other questions on that? That's pretty much the, the gist of it. But by adopting this, you adopt the budget that we, um, with the amendments, that we um, we all you, you'll be passed during the budget hearings. But the, but the, all the layoff positions on here. When will that be implemented? Well, as soon as tomorrow, we'll get with uh, civil service and send them uh, we'll send a list. And, yeah, January first. There's no money in the budget for them. They got to be um, taken care of by then. So we're going to get on this. We've already sent the list, you know, that we had prior to civil service for her to start looking we, at it. Yeah, we yeah we've. We've notified civil service in advance of, of what was in the proposed budget, so they've been on notice. So um, they should be able to complete that work by uh, January 1st. Is that correct? And that's affirmed by the uh, Director of Administration. Thank you. Any more questions from the table? From the audience? I just want to, Tracy Riley, 1342 Highway 23, I uh, just want to thank the council for 
giving the residents the opportunity to speak without um, interrupting and timing us and doing all of that. It's very important for this particular uh, topic uh, to allow us to have our say. I recognize that you granted us that permission and I appreciate it. And to the people who find themselves um, being furloughed as a result of this work these past couple of days. Um, I, you know, my heart is with you all and I hope that you are able to find um, employment very, very soon. And I just want to appeal to the voters who are watching um, to avoid this upcoming year of having to go through this very painful process. Um, in uh, December to consider that as we go into the election booths on December 5th. Thank you very much and I pre ver appreciate very much the opportunity to participate these past 48 hours. Thank you. Thank you, Ms. Riley, for your comments. Any more questions from the table and from the audience? Mr. Roussel? Yeah, my, my only comment is uh, we came in yesterday morning facing 80 layoffs approximately. And by the hard work of this government, we were able to whittle it down to 37. However, I think this is, uh, you know, a, a sign of what we're going to be facing. I think there were a lot of messages sent to the administration about uh, what needs to be done to try to right the ship, so to speak, or put the train back on the tracks, as I was saying earlier. And a lot of this fate will depend on what happens on December the 5th. And if uh, we are successful in seeing the voters support the propositions, then we are pretty good to work starting in January. However, if those proposals do not pass on December the 5th, I would suggest that we start meeting December the 10th or the next following Monday to address what we are going to be doing for the next year. Because I would hate to see us show up here next November facing the same situation without any work being done between the failure or the adoption of those proposals. So our work has only begun. We will see what happens on December the 5th. And moving forward, after December the 5th, I would instruct the administration and request they be prepared to accept or reject whatever the voters decide, but have a plan. Thank you. And Mr. Serpez, I would like to thank you and your team for providing us with all the information and the numbers that we needed. Uh, thank this council for uh, working diligently on uh, trying to save as many jobs as we could. And uh, we'll just leave it at that. Uh, machines are open. We got that safety man still around? Yeah. The measure passed the 7 0. <laughs> Motion to adjourn. Motion Thank to adjourn you. by Mr. Thank Mr. Mr. Black. Thank you. Thank you. Seconded by Mr. Bartholomew. Yeah. Machines are open. We're not on there. I don't know. Are you pleased? No. <laughs> you got me nervous There's there. Chunk of meat on there, huh? <laughs> no, uh, crack that up. Please vote. Oh. You got a hard head. And the measure passes 7-0. We'll have adjournment at 558.